Hello everybody and the first watchers and uh, the not everybody after that watchers. I'm gonna be mellow. Today Buzz. I'm gonna be mellow today. I'm over at the uh, I forget what it's called. Butterfly do not fly in my window. Thank you. Is uh called uh, the soccer field that never has anyone playing soccer because that's what kind of a sport soccer is uh, over by the water tower and today's gonna be a much mellower day uh, I guess uh, I want to talk about me for a change instead of you for a change Because I already know about me. I want to know about you. Oh, wait. How's it go? I'm you. Wait. Oh, I'm the one. I'm not the one in the video there. Okay. Well, no, I am the one in the video. But that's the one in the video. Okay. The, uh. <sighs> oh. Yeah. So last night, smelling awful rubber smelting. Maybe it's this, or maybe it's that, and there's a puff of white smoke and outside, and there's a lot of smoke outside. And uh, then there was this, there was this fire a couple, a few houses down, somewhat, you know, in the neighborhood. So you get to figure out where I am if you figure out the rest of the equation. Just don't, just don't figure out where I am. The uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. The uh, and it was the weirdest thing. I was like, okay, well, there's smoke, and it's like coming out of the, it's bright, and uh, that, that, their front door is a little bright, and then the window, it has some fire coming out of it. And then it's just dumping out. But it's like pouring out like a blowtorch. I'm like, what the? Large whole picture window just dumping out smoke and fire. And it's getting bigger. And then I look in the yard, and there's somebody on the ground, and they're going, don't do it. Don't do it. And there's somebody on their back kneeling on their hands behind their back. And so I'm like just a, a, a statue standing there watching them going, what is going on? And I'm trying to figure out if it was, I mean, I guess I could read the paper today. If they still printed newspapers. I, I think they have a website for the what that used to be the paper. And the... Uh, what is it, a quarter, 50 cents for paper? And I parked next to this house that's been abandoned since I was in high school. So, what's that all about? Great, great little nifty little spot here. Anyway, probably the old windows. Can't keep it warm. The, uh... Over here, and it's just abandoned area where the, the, all the street edges are like one number. <laughs> so we're in the middle of nowhere. And then fire trucks come, and I move. I pull my truck up because we uh, uh, get out of their way. And uh, just an interesting little fire thing. I'm just gonna be calm today. I'm gonna get some sunlight today. I'm gonna check the time today. Can you see that? Quarter to three. The 29th of July. My name is... Max. Because I don't like my first name. But it does start with an M. I'm going to go to the gym. Oh, I go to the gym. That's me going to the gym. I learned uh, there's like several variations in a push-up. There's diamond and then close and standard and shoulder and wide and I've been doing the wide because that means all the muscles I'm really using are a little bit of the biceps what what and the fucking the uh not the 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 ordinary chest the pecs your pecho the pectorals 
And so that's really when I want the definition. And I didn't know that the other push-ups I was doing, it's a good looker at the zoo tower in the middle of the day. The, uh, all right. Something tower. It's like Sim City around here. They're always moving things. The, uh, Google it. The, uh, 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 uh it's like Sims, but with, uh, like, buildings. World, world builder. I'm getting tired, aren't I? You know, the, the, it's, uh, time for rejuvenation. Like and subscribe. Automatically entered into the contest. Uh, or don't. Leave comments or don't. Uh, I'm willing to talk about whatever's in the comments. No topic is too taboo. Even the gross, even the taboo ones. I'll just try to, uh, it's a brust, try to, uh, you know, be normal about that. Cut that out. The, uh, I'll be normal about whatever I'm talking about. Or we won't talk, we're about to see it and I go, no, I'm not talking about that. The, the, uh, I still have that question about is it going to be low on the thing but anyway and so 15 push ups and it was just easier to do the wide push ups I don't know if it's because I've already started and I do a lot of fly flies and, uh, I kind of have the question of when it says I'm supposed to do a delt fly it's up from forward and open up to work on the back and the shoulders on this is the shoulders the delt kind of deltoid region and uh if I'm supposed to be doing that on the delt machine, or if I'm supposed to lean forward, take dumbbells and lock them things up, up and out. Not forward with the elbows bent. Totally out to the side. Whoa. Raise the wings. Raise the wings. Uh, I wrote a, uh, a short story today about... I love writing. I love that I wrote that. <laughs> uh... Elves and spiders? We're in it. I can't really... I don't want to tell you what it is about... Like, I'll describe things or I'll read one. I'll, I'll just read it because they're short stories. On YouTube, that's fun. That's fun to me. If I... Get out of here. I'm going to have to move here. I'm going to have to haul here pretty soon. Horse flies. Uh, there's a... Ugh, horse flies. Farmlands just... Really, it really is weird. Water, city, suburb, farmland, all right here. They just lock this. City. Whoever wants to move should just buy this whole time. And I'm, I'll take that. It's very nice. Um, uh, I watched a video about the difference between rights and commodities. Whereas, you know, rights are things that you need to live and can't be taken away and commodities are things that can be taken away and you don't have a right to commodities you have a right to achieve them and I had this whole thing that's what it was I guess I'll talk about that was a beautiful thing about achievement eight minutes and that uh don't look at me better look outside better look that tree is that tree is oh that one that tree is right there the uh wouldn't it be wonderful to know what other people see uh, if if you uh you know the commodities and people hate those who haves and the haves nots and I really dis despise that that's a that's a some people are reminded and some people have never known that that is uh, envy which is weird but uh you know a little bit everything in moderation and. Sometimes even the, the best people are triggered by it. I read stories like, oh, he got, he got greedy. And we greet more and more until it bites him in the ass. The, uh, this is a really nice chill spot. The, uh, whenever you think you, uh, haven't do done enough to, you know, redeem yourself, and I don't mean about to, to be seen as good. everybody should be I'd, I'm not judging you but and I'm not saying you I'm saying one anyone uh, particularly not you really just anyone in general one can 
try to seek the, uh, you know, look, think about it like money. There we go. Like, uh, if you think you, you ever think you almost out of money, you should just pretty much consider that you are out of money, right? The, uh, and you should really try to get ahead of it. Not that money is the object, but the comfort that money provides is the object. If you could do less and get more money, that's also a thing, you know. Or, uh, stop, please. Is, uh, shut up. Crows are in the shade. It's starting to get hot. 70 degrees is too hot to leave your car. Dog in the car, car in the dog, dog in the car. Cause it just the glass keeps the heat in. Okay, don't put your pets, don't put your kids in the car. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And the trunk, forget about it. Forget about it. I gonna do with myself I gotta do something it's another video I'd rather have enough like I said if it's not enough it's it if it's almost not enough then it ain't enough I'd rather do an update on on progress made you know let's make was it make your your goals achievable you don't even have to tell anybody your plans believable I'm gonna do I'm gonna have a plan that's unbelievable and I'm gonna go get certified that's believable my dreams unteachable to what end is really not part of this video another I'd rather just have a status update on that as well the uh, so or you know sometimes you uh, uh, weightlifting you build more you go well if I think I've got enough to do I can do 10 pounds 10 times is 100 pounds but how many times can you do 100 pounds and it's the same thing if you can do 100 pounds six you can't always do 60 pounds 10 times when you're tired of the exhaustion, the preparedness. And so you really need to be have the point of if you don't have enough money, and you really don't have enough money to save up and work harder. And that's all, you know, just if, if you ever stop, keep going. It's to, to be prepared to have that sort of the stamina of social mobility. Whereas uh, the alternative, I largely assume, <clears throat> is a uh, is a uh, water point. <clears throat> Tip your waitresses and wait to staff and busboys and whatever. We're living in a place where we tip and people expect, and some people tip better than others. Old car. Uh, You know, a planned economy would say, well, you have this much for food and you got to buy it at the grocery store. There's tips are a thing of the past. And there's a, an industry where people not depend, but rely on on the, their gains, for, their capital gains from tips. They invest, and that's where everything is a capital gain. The capital they invest in this case is their, their walking around, their physical energy, their exertion their deliverance of uh, their skill set to, to of whatever that is and provide a service service providing service as a service I think in the technical funny way to say that and then they get something back and so you really if you're planning on not yeah if you plan on having a you know like a hamster getting food pellets two pellets a day bottle of water if it goes empty you're a hamster in a cage. How do you refill that water? If you plan on not living in the wild, that you, you, you run the risk of being trapped. As bad as that mental image is, you run the risk of one of the more cruel effects of nature, fate. And so fate is defined as something that is inevitable, but that with multiple possibilities any number of fates are not 
self-determining or impose effects on other people and you are in control of your destiny perhaps not some some fates are unavoidable some are and in the scope of things some fates are still unknown but if you know that you are being rationed your uh, essentials, your food, your commodities as of some sort of right or privilege to have so much per day, so per diem as a stipend or as the dole or in Spanish they say el paro what's, what's, what's paired out to you, what's doled out to you food stamps welfare depending on your terminology and a million other things in many other languages then you we already know what happens if you take the money you're grateful but when if you're not grateful it, it's it's still if you still eat food that somebody else worked in that economy that that capitalism that doesn't go away that's that's that that's that trade deal of we had one world government There'd be two parties. There'd be capitalists and there'd be communists. And we would sort of debate on the finer things in life. But we would agree not to starve. And then the people who are in the middle ground, and I don't mean libertarians, I love you guys. Or, I let you do what you do and I'm going to love you anyways because you just like letting people do things. And I, I, I admire that. Uh, but I love you anyway. You can't stop me. I don't care if that bothers you. I'm going to pray for you. I don't care if that bothers you. Or I'm not going to. I don't care if that bothers you. I'm sitting in the sun. I'm getting hot here. So they were getting heated up. And I thought it was going to be less excitable. Excitable? Oh, yeah. And then uh, if you worry about it, i got to slow it down for people less worried about getting so riled up. And talkative. I was wanting to be on point most of the time. The uh, but we won't discuss vernacular anyway. That's my English is slipping out bad there. The uh, train is coming. It's gonna mess up the audio. So. Uh, like and subscribe things that you like and subscribe to uh, you know you don't have a right to watch this video and if you've thought about everything that are rights are if all commodities are rights this video is another commodity you don't have the right to but since you're watching it you have the right to like and subscribe and that way when I'm talking when I switch to the next video you'll have known that you are 